And for the triple kill. Oh my god, she just sniped Gadget out of the air and rooted her. Oh. What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoos, you are awesome, and we're continuing with the gameplay videos provided to Overprime's creative partners. Today we're going to take a look at the Korean language video, and holy hell is this one spicy. Some really nice plays in this one. It's a much larger mix of heroes this time. It features Sereth, Sparrow, Fing Meow, Countess, Narbash, and Kalari. I, I might have missed one, I don't know. Also, I want to go ahead and announce that Get Through Gaming will be hosting another tournament during the final beta test with the EU tournament happening on November 19th at 9 a.m. EST and the NA tournament taking place on November 20th at 3 p.m. EST. I'll have their Discord linked in the description and comments if you're interested in signing up. Quick reminder, the beta test is from November 9th at 9 p.m. EST to November 21st at 5 a.m. EST. Everyone with a PC will be able to play. Just look for Paragon the Overprime on Steam. Now, let's get to the gameplay. Starting up with some hot Serath action. It's been too long. It's been way too long since we've seen some Serath. Howitzer's a little too close. She's going to jump into the air. Ascendance crashes right down on him. Hits him with the double wings. Oh, and he ults out of that one. But he, uh, he should have ulted towards Serath, I think. He is in a lot of trouble. Knocks himself away. She hits him with the Ghost Angels. And then finishes him off with a big smack of the mace. Love me some Sarah's gameplay, bro. She is so good. I suck with her. She is ulted up. Boom! The Ascendance crashes down. Takes down, Mur I think that was Murdoch, right through the containment fence with the mace. And they, uh, they need, this Kwong needs to get out of here. This, this Sarah is on fire, literally. Looks like it's finally worn off. We got like a bit of a screen effect there where uh, she was a little red. It was a little bit of a red screen effect while she was during her ultimate. Is she gonna catch? Oh, the, the Aurora with the ice wall saves Kwong's asshole. Very, very nicely done. That Aurora with a, with a cheeky slide. You get the joke, you get the joke there. That was a really nice save from Aurora and that ice wall looked really good. Okay, she's coming up behind the, the house. Her house has no idea. Hits him with the double wings, hitting him with the mace. He, she, he, wow, he did a lot of damage with that R2000 rocket, but phase is there to support. Looks like that Lance is just out of range, but he's not out of range. He tried the juke, it ended up fucking him as uh, Sarah finishes him off. Now she's trying to do a jungle camp. I do like Sarah the jungle. Decker led the enemy team straight to Sarah. Decker's going to go down. Sarah ults up, trying to take down the Murdoch in a. Uh, Decker's doing everything she can to defend her poor Murdoch. He is extremely low. He disappears into the... He did not disappear into the bushes. He he tried to blink behind her, which was a good move. Didn't work out for him, but I respect the hustle from that Murdoch. A little bit more jungle action from, from Sarah. They're running in for a team fight. Looks like the enemy team is trying to take the error prime. Sarah immediately ults up. She's doing that burn damage, doing tons of damage to Murdoch. Crashes right back down into him, takes him down. Uh, Decker could not keep her off of that Murdoch at all. Looks like FaZe is coming in for the assist. Oh, a nice, a nice, uh, looks like an ultimate from, Aurora. whoa, this Aurora, she just ice walled up and then left off the top of her ice wall down into the prime pit. This Aurora is amazing. I'm loving this shit. I want to see the Aurora side of this gameplay. I do love me some Sarah, but okay, so Sarah's just going to turn and be like, all right, you guys got him down low enough for me. Um, I'm just going to take the Orb Prime now. And uh, they're too low to contest. Maybe uh, if Halliser can get an R2. Nope. Too late. As we see, taking the Orb Prime just does a bunch of tower damage now. You don't get the big the big goon walking down the mid lane. And Aurora, I don't know what she has it out for. Oh, the crash, the ascend. Crashes right down on two of them. That was very, very nicely done by Sarah. And the Ghost Angels pick up the kill on Decker. Oh man, this Sarath is uh she's going beast mode all over the place. Look, we've got Aurora doing Aurora things again. The Ghost Angels roots Decker in place. It's not enough. Another nice ice wall with a hooker frost. And Sarath gonna she doesn't give a fuck about the containment fence, goes right over it while she's ulted up, goes after Decker. But Aurora is the real support here. She uh she saves the Decker by casting the Hooker Frost, catches her again with the Horror Frost. And throws the wall up and gets away. Nice juke from Aurora using that frozen Samelkarim. 
to, to get out of the fight. And as she Aurora gets away again with the ice wall. Now she's just taunting them. She's up there like, ah, you can't catch me, bitches. Oh man, this oh they they caught her, but god damn, that Aurora led them for a goose chase. Now we got some Countess in the mid lane with a sick fucking skin. I've never seen that skin before. That must be an overprime original. I know she's got like curved swords and shit. She had that samurai skin. This is different. Jumps in. There's the feast with the big kill. Uh, Countess, dangerous as always. Good to see that she's dangerous in this game. I think what I'm going to do is whenever she uses her ult, I'm going to use J-Pi's impression of Countess using her ult. Lots of, tons of damage on Chimera. The Feast <laughs> takes him out. Definitely going to use the j Pie version. Oh, she got rude. They saw she coming. Oh, she went under the tower. Is she going to get this Bel Belica? She gets the Belica. Is she going to get out? Is she going to get out? Just barely escapes as she dove that tower. Oh, she's still going in. Oh, my God. She took out that Sparrow and then redashed. Holy shit. How low did she get? Let's go back. Let's go back. I want to see how low she Look at the coolions on this Countess. I mean, she's already lower than the snake shit. She's going to go after Sparrow. Boom. Shadow slips to her. Does her little pirouette da dance thing. And then a dark tide takes the Sparrow out. Immediately reactivates the shadow slip. And goes back and walks the fuck away. Holy shit. Countess back on the prowl. Big fight in the prime pit. Oh, can Countess do anything against this many people? If she can, then that's a little... Oh, she stole it! She stole the prime! Oh my god! And then Shadow slipped out! This bitch! She's got so much balls! Look at her go! Oh, and, and Chimera has the retreat. He's like, he don't want none of that. Poor Deckard. Poor De oh, that was a nice, that was a nice uh, route. That saved Deckard's ass right there. But uh, Countess, once again, doing some Shadow Slip shenanigans. Let's see if she can take this Bellica out. I think Bellica would be a pretty good counter to Countess if, you know, she's not getting bukkakied by the enemy team. Oh, she's so slow. She was slowed down so, mu so much right there. She's still de dealing a bunch of damage. I don't, can't, I, I don't think she could take a, ca a Chimera. Maybe she can. Holy shit, she is so freaking low. How is she surviving these fights? It's insane. It's absolutely insane. I, I don't know how she got out of that one, but she did. Oh, Chimera's got her number now. Oh, she she stays and she stays and she tricked him. She tricked the fucking Chimera. And there goes the feast on the Bellica. Takes out the Bellica, but Chimera Chimera wants nothing of it. He is so tired of this Countess right now. He's like, I am tired of your shit. And he finally takes her down. Countess hanging out in the bushes. A, a surprise party of one. Let's see what she does. Got. Look like Fing Miao and Fing Miao and Decker. She's gonna wait for the Fing Miao to go past and then go with the Decker. She's going after the what a good assassin. Um, she didn't finish the job there. I thought she was going to, but it looks like oh she's gonna finish it now. She's going after the Decker. Oh, she used Feast. I don't know. That seemed like a bit of an overkill to use Feast right there. Now she's under the tower on the she dealt so much damage to the sparrow. She's just gonna go ahead and back out. Ooh, man. Seems like she must have been out of shit to to hit Decker with, I guess. Oh, surprise, motherfucker. Another prime fight. She uses the Shadow Slip to get out. Oh, poor Sparrow. Nice shielding on the Sparrow, but is she going to go down? No, she, she used Stasis. Oh, she Shadow Slips in and takes the Sparrow. Oh, my God. The reaction time on this Countess is insane. I wish I could play Countess half as good as this. Is she going to steal Prime again? No, she does not. She does not steal Prime that time. Oh my god, if she stole Prime again, I was going to be like, no fucking way. Now she's a little bit in the back line. She wants to be... She, yep, she walks right past Fing Mao, goes straight after Belica. The feast isn't quite enough to take Belica down. Oh, if... Yep, she just... Nothing that Belica could do right there. Nothing that Belica could do. But Decker, that, they, they need to stop ignoring this back line because uh, Countess is just out for blood over here. Fing Mao very low. Countess is going to once again go into stasis. Is it going to be enough? She does not get the kill this time. We got Big Daddy Bash rocking the the, the toxic skin. That's pretty cool. It look, looks like something straight out of World of Warcraft. It looks like a Naxxramas boss or something. That's pretty uh, random. Rock is random. Where the fuck? Okay, came from, came, came from the shadow well over there. I don't think he's, it's going to be enough to save. Oh, Shibby got a kill. How did Shibby get a kill out of all that nonsense? It looks like they are extremely low. Wow, that was really well done. And Narbash channeling his ultimate. 
God damn, they turned that fight around real fucking quick. Uh, oh, we got some Sparrow gameplay now. Uh, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I don't think she knows what the fuck she's doing. Running around the wall, waiting for an opportunity. Rampage bursts into the scene, but she is bursting out with that with, with her ultimate, just firing arrows everywhere. She gets blinded by FaZe, of course. It looks like she's going... To, oh, no, she's caught in an ultimate. She's caught in a, in a, in a Gideon ultimate, but she just... Healed right through it like it wasn't nothing. Turns around, puts the uh, the Chimera down with a shot to the back, but Thing Mal finishes her off. Got more of this Raven Sparrow coming in. Looks like everybody's pinging Prime, so they're probably going to try and steal Prime. And it looks like they're going to. She immediately bursts into the scene. Oh, that combo, the Gideon combo with the... Was that a Gideon comp? Was that her Gideon? I can't tell. Pretty sure that was a friendly Gideon. And they're going to clean this up. Holy crap! It's it's kind of hard to tell. I like that they that the the profile picks the avatars go with the skins. That's kind of cool. However, it is a little difficult to tell who's who whenever you're playing. So unless you saw the beginning of the match, it's going to be a little hard to know who's out there. Chimera leaping in as Chimera does. She used some sort of um traversal item there to get out. Uh, very low, firing off her ultimate. And FaZe, pinging her in the face with the lance, that is very distracting. FaZe even blinds you when she doesn't use blind. Looks like they just fought him off. We got some fake meow gameplay coming through the purdle. Let's see if he can set up a gank, a gank opportunity. Coming after Revenant. Revenant already used Obliterate, so he doesn't have a lot of damage left in him. Fig Mal just swinging away. Boom! Catches him with the ultimate. That was really nicely done. And it looks like we do get resets on the ultimate, but he did miss that uh, that second one. Let's see if he can catch up to... Who is that? Twin, Twin Blast? I don't know who the fuck he's ch trying to chase down there. But now, Muriel is all by her lonesome, and Fing Mao is going to fuck her up. Nope, she's going to fly away, as Muriel does. Too bad he didn't have a stun, or he could have kept her in place. She went to the mid. Looks like... Uh, didn't help her out any. Chimera was just waiting for her. Oh, and there's Kalari. Kalari did not know that Fing Mal was there. Jumped right into him, and he was just waiting pick to pick up that kill. And Fing Mal is going to take himself a little break. And we're back in the action in the offlane. Chimera jumping in. 1v fucking 3 or 2 or something like that. Doesn't matter. He's got Fing Mal to back him up. Big ultimate slam down. Okay, Muriel joined, joined the party. Another ultimate. So we definitely see some resets on these ultimates. That was Kalari earlier that I, that I couldn't identify. Looks like she just went invis, but Fing Mal just burst into the scene. Take swinging away with that fucking glaive of his. And he's chasing somebody. They are extremely low health. We see that the marker for execute is up, but he doesn't have his ultimate. And he does get stopped in place. Now we got some Kalari gameplay. Was a, that's a really cool skin. I don't think I've seen that skin. It might just be... It's not a recolor. She's got little horns. What the hell's going on? She bursts up after Sparrow. Sparrow has no idea that Kalari is on her. Missed the, um, missed the dash, but the ultimate lands. The lockdown ultimate from Kalari, and now she's just going to clean up on this enemy team. Boom! Another another slam down. We got some more Sparrow gameplay, this time with a different skin. She is chasing somebody down. It looks like FaZe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. I got old eyes. <laughs> She, oh man, she somehow hit that. Oh, and she hits the, oh god damn, that was so cool. That was so cool. Let me look, look. Because this gadget that she's chasing, she blinks, snipes through the prime spirit to root the gadget, and then finishes her off with a basic attack. That was amazing. Sparrow advancing on the enemy core. Steel goes down. She takes out Grux with ease, and now she's she slowed down. Quang Quang is doing everything he can to take her out. But she is doing so much damage. And she's hitting all these shots. It's very confusing to see. Takes down Kwong. Now she's up against another Sparrow. Cleans up Sparrow easily. And for the triple kill. Oh my god! She just sniped Gadget out of the air and rooted her. Oh my god. And killed her. And killed her. Yeah, we're going to look at that one again, boys. We're going to look at that one again. Oh, Muriel, you don't want none of this. You don't know what in the... Okay, oh, maybe Sparrow don't want none. She's, getting, she's taking some hard hits from that core. She's going to take it down. Yeah, that's what she needs to do. She just needs to take that core down. Oh, she's getting hit by minions too. Is she yes, she makes it. She makes it. Okay, now let's look at that shit again. So here we have Gadget jumping off the jump pad. Sparrow Caesar lines up the shot. Boom! 
roots are straight out of the air. Oh, that is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. Before we wrap things up, let's take a look at some of my favorite plays. And that's it for this video. I have several more lined up and they'll keep coming until we can till we can all play. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub for more third person mobile content. But for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangu! Special shout out to channel members Stunt, Covetous Lemon, The Beard Wolverine, Pizza Face, Pusey, El Draco King, Oda, F6, Actual Dez, Joshua Ben Noctis, Soul Reaper, J Man 63, Levy, Version 2, Dapper Dice, Lionheart Official, Clorox TV, Raven, Blastoise King, Meow Mix for Men, Jelly Knees, and our top gifter, I Blood Hunter.